next fight. Um, Shakur Stevenson, Oscar Valdez. That's I think April. Um, I like uh, I like Stevenson. I really do like Stevenson. Um, Oscar, I haven't really seen too much of it, and I heard about him. You know, you know, styles make fights, fighters make fights, corners can even make fights. Um, I'm just really high on Shakur right now, so um, with me saying that, I'm going to just give it Shakur. I'm not saying by knockout. I think Shakur can uh, outbox him and, you know, get a win. I think he can do it spectacularly, and he can keep on looking spectacular and move on to the next. All right, so um, Shakur is coming off of his stoppage against Jamel Heron. All right. right. Oscar Valdez, two-division champ, uh, coming off of two really good wins. Does this fight, if Shakur wins this in spectacular fashion, does this fight propel Shakur to pound for pound status? Man, it's kind of hard to say. This pound for pound stuff, man. Because you beat a, a real big household name guy, you undefeated, and you're making good money, you, you consider yourself pound for pound. I don't consider a guy a fighter a pound for pound fighter unless he fight real top guys. He fight a champion and he beat a champion. You know you can't just walk in and smack a champion and you think you take his belt. You actually gotta beat a champion. Um, you know, Shakur Stevens has been moved well. He uh he's doing what we all know that he can do. He, he can fight, he can box, he's looking spectacular. Uh, it's kinda hard to say. My thing is this, I'ma need to see him fight guys like Devin Haney, a guy Devin Haney that I'm really, you know, I really like. And of course I love Tank. You know what I'm saying? I love Tank. A hundred. So if he can buy those two guys and he can look spectacular doing it, I can give him a pound for pound. But right now, no. Nah, I ain't giving him anything. Okay.